Hello, this initial video on panel vector autoregressive modeling describes the panel data structure and the estimation process. Now, panel data, as you know, is a combination of time series and cross section observations, as I show in this example, consisting of three panels right here, or in this case, three countries, each with uh, time series data from 2009 to 2019. So this is a balanced panel which um, is the easiest to work with. Now when using panel data the focus is the entire group not the individual units in the group. This group preference is to exploit all information that can help describe the global relationship among the variables in the model. It also provides a larger sample and therefore, as you would agree, increased degrees of freedom. Heterogeneity is an issue for sure in panel data. However, this is modeled into the framework, specifically in the fixed effects model. In VAR models, all variables are treated as endogenous and interdependent. So what I show here are different types of panel data. So in the first case we have a balanced panel just like in the example I just showed you for the three countries where we have equal number of observations across the three panels color coded here for viewing convenience. The second one is a short panel in which the number of time periods is less than the number of panels. So here we have two periods, two years and three subjects if you like. And in the third one we have a long panel also referred to as a macro panel. Uh, the preceding one being also referred to as a micro panel. But down here in the macro panel we have number of time periods greater than the number of subject firms or subject countries in this case. And um, as you can see in this example we have three years and two countries or two panels. But we also can have unbalanced panel in which, as you can see, number of observations are not going to be the same across the different panels. And other types include a dynamic panel where lagged values of the dependent variable are included as regressor and a static panel where only exogenous variables are specified as regressors. Anyhow, importantly, estimation process begins with a panel unit root test which is a stationary test designed to determine if the variables that you're going to be working with are stationary at level, meaning they're I0, or stationary after first differencing, meaning they are I1 integrated of the first order, that is. And of course, if they are stationary at level and you run a regression with those variables, it's just going to be a verification of a long-run relationship. Otherwise, if they are stationary at first uh, difference, then we're going to proceed and perform a co-integration test. Coming up shortly, you might also consider doing a lag selection as a way to determine the optimal number of lags to utilize. Although many of the programs uh, built into eViews, which I will use as demo, uh, give you the opportunity for automatic lag selection. But thirdly, for sure, you're going to have to do a panel co-integration designed to determine if, given the fact that the variables are I1, integrated of the first order, whether in fact they have a long-run relationship. So again, the word co-integration means long-run relationship. And if we determine that they do in fact have a long-run relationship right here at number four, but they are not, sorry, if we determine that they are integrated of the first order right here, but not co-integrated in that they do not have a long-run relationship, then uh, we're going to be left to simply go ahead and uh, do a panel vector order regression. All right? A panel VAR is one in which we're going to have to decide whether to use fixed effects model or random effect model and that choice is going to be based on the outcome of the Hausman test. Now in number five, if on the other hand the I1 variables are found to be co-integrated, meaning they have a long-run relationship, then that gives us a lot more beautiful story to tell because then we can proceed and do a panel vector error correction, specify a panel vector error correction model in which we're going to observe not only 
the short run relationships but also the long run dynamics between and among the variables and importantly examine the error correction mechanism to determine what the speed of adjustment to long run equilibrium is. And finally, if we have a mix of I0 and I1 time series in the sense that some variables are stationary at level and others are stationary after first differencing, then that gives us an even more beautiful story to tell in that we are enabled to run a panel autoregressive distributed lag model. And that's it.